What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm buying myself a dream car and I want to bring you guys along with me, so let's hop into the video. Alrighty, so it's currently 2.03 in the morning. Jose Baño is ready to go. I got home two hours ago. I slept in. Jose actually had to wake me up so I didn't miss my own car appointment. So we're gonna make sure that Jose keep, continues to babysit us. We gotta fly to Colorado, so let's go. It's darker than I can even see, and I can see on the camera that it's still picking up light. So anyway, we got the power stroke warmed up, and let's head to the airport. Woo! Yeah, we gotta grab ourselves a uh, parking pass. There we go. All right, now on to Denver. All right, listen, you stay right there. You don't go anywhere. We'll be back in like 24 hours to pick you up, Jose. We need to hurry because we have like an hour until our flight leaves and the shuttle is right there. Right there. <laughs> ah, you guys are literally catching live action running down. Oh no. We may or may not miss the shuttle for our flight. Just in time. And of course, in Salt Lake we get hit with a mask mandate. So now we got to find out where we're flying out from, so I don't do well with flying. Because it takes a lot of paying attention, and I'm not very good at that. But if you're coming to the airport, you should probably figure out your itinerary, your passes, all that stuff, plenty of time before. I didn't think about that stuff, so now we are uh, hoping that we're not late, but we're just about to check back into security. We've got 40 minutes till our flight leaves, and there's a pretty big line, so let's hope that we don't miss this flight to pick up the new car. Our flight leaves in one hour and ten minutes. We made it. Five minutes till gate close. We did it. And now we're gonna grab some McDonald's. It's 7:10, and then we're headed. We've got like an hour shuttle ride to Colorado Springs. This is the trippiest floor I think I've ever walked on in my entire life. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Denver, where we have, I think it's like an hour to maybe an hour and a half ride now to Colorado Springs to pick up the new car. And I wanna know what you guys think it is. So let us know down in the comments below, what kind of car do you think we're picking up today? We just picked up our Range Rover Velar last night. Flew this morning to Denver. Now we gotta go pick up our new car. Alrighty guys, we made it all the way down to the Ford dealership here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And these guys have Mustangs everywhere. There's one up here, one up here, Mustang Mach E X up front over here. There's Mustangs lined all the way up over here in the front. Now we just gotta find out where ours is and where we're supposed to be. We got two more Broncos over here, another Mustang Mach 1 over there. This guy's got Mustangs freaking everywhere. So apparently we came over to the wrong building. So my man over here is gonna hook us up with a ride to the proper building and then, and then we will see our car for the first time. Hooking it up with the new 2022 F-150 Lariat, baby. Ah. Yeah, I don't know what you're Look at that, that big, that huge 11.9 inch new screen. I don't know guys, after riding over here in that F-150, I think just maybe it might be time to upgrade the F-350 because that big screen is like, it's a game changer. Like it makes the whole inside of that truck a completely different vibe, but I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys want to see the car yet? Nah, no, I'll make you wait for like just one more second. Alrighty guys, so here it is. The new ride, a 2020 California Special GT Mustang with a six-speed transmission and, of course, no Recaros. I did want heated and cooled seats over Recaros. I know a lot of people are going to hate for that. You can hate all you want. Go ahead, drop it in the comments. I want to hear what you have to say. Check out this beautiful, beautiful ride. White and black to match the truck. So the wheels and tires are going to have to be one of the first things to go. We need some dish 
or concave. I need you guys to let me know what you want to see on this build. We're going to go with a four inch cow hood. We're going to lower the car about one and a half, two inches, get a P1 Pro Charger on the way, new headlights, and we're going to do some carbon fiber on the back. We are going to tint this whole uh, this whole light fixture here on both sides. So we have the black that comes across. We're going to replace that with a carbon fiber piece. And then the trim around the lights we're going to replace with carbon fiber. And then Borla attack exhaust system. I want to know what you guys think of the build plans below, but first we should go drive this thing. First we got to turn on the heated seats because there's snow on the ground and what better day to test drive a Mustang. So this actually is almost like the same spec as my truck, but in a Mustang car, which is really, really cool. I do already miss the massaging seats though, but look at that big dash. That is huge. That is just massive. So we're gonna go ahead and take this thing around for a little bit and see if we like the way it drives. So we're buying a Mustang with like a 100,000 mile warranty and we're gonna avoid that because we're gonna mod this thing out. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit like. And here we go on test drive. We've got traction control on. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it really bright out there, but the road is like snow. There's no road, it's just covered in snow. So hopefully we don't spin out, lose traction, um, but we also have a 10 hour drive home. So this is gonna be fun. Put in snow mode, you have snow mode. That good old V8 rumble. I mean, even stock, it sounds pretty good inside, but we definitely gotta up those decibels because it's not loud enough. But ooh, man, that just sounds so good. The first one that I drove was the black edition of this. And I thought, hmm, Maybe we should add a black sheep to the family, but well, it's not really a sheep, it's a Mustang. So I decided, no, we'll wait for the black vehicle on the proper one. Maybe our first exotic car will be black, but I'm not sure. But I know that this Mustang is gonna be the one that we're taking home. So, I mean, really, I don't even need to drive it much longer. It's certified pre-owned, comes with a warranty, um, still covered under the factory warranty and everything. Of course, everything always happens when uh, the camera's turned off. But uh, driving on these roads, I hit a patch of slush and well, this is what happened. I just totaled my 2020 brand new Mustang. Alrighty guys, so we're back with the salesman here, which I want to give a huge shout out, has been amazing through not just today, my accident, the entire process, everything from when I found the car online. So again, just want to give a huge shout out. But now I've got to find a car. A lot of you guys actually didn't even know until this video that that was the car I was getting. Uh, a lot of people thought I was looking for an exotic car this time around. Um, since we just bought the Range Rover, I was looking more to stay under 50 grand on a Mustang. But since that one's no longer an option, now we've got to come over here and look and see what is an option. And you guys know how tedious I am about my packages, my colors on all my vehicles and all that stuff. So let's go see if this is one that maybe we'd be bringing home to. So I get everything going on right now, but markup on this is $8,000. So I don't think this is gonna be the one that we're taking home. However, man, doesn't that thing just look beautiful? Like it does, it really has like that whole GT350 front end feel to it. So after looking for a vehicle for about four hours, finally we decided, hey, we should try and go eat some food, maybe think about a couple cars that they had there, maybe see if spending a little more money than I originally thought was the only option here, or buying a plane ticket, Ubering back to Denver, and flying home. Ten minutes into the Uber ride, Lucas gave us a call and said, hey guys, I have the car that's everything you want, exact option, but it's brand new. I thought about it for a second. I had the Uber driver drop us off at the dealership instead of driving us back to Denver and pulled the trigger. All right, guys, well, it's 3 p.m. And I know, I know, I know, I was keeping you guys updated every moment, every moment, every moment. We turned off the camera, we're headed back to the dealership, and I wreck the car that I came out to get. And I hit black ice, I slid off the road. I feel like crap, I haven't been able to eat all day. Uh, I already haven't slept for, I don't know, 36 something hours. Um, this is not really like uh, the most exciting day ever. But they did find me a 2021 Mustang that's almost the exact same, minus the California Special, and they're going to get it right now to bring it back to check it out. As much of a negative memory as it is, I'll never forget this trip. 
Sorry, it's not really how today's video was supposed to end. It's almost six o'clock. I'm not sure exactly what time it is, but uh, sun's about to go down and then we're gonna hop on the road and we have like still a 10 hour drive home. So we will uh, update you guys as soon as the car here gets here, if it gets here. If. 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 At this point, I was I had no excitement. I was sick to my stomach, hadn't ate, hadn't slept in almost two days, and the, all the excitement was gone. And then about 7 p.m., you could hear that 5.0 V8 rumble pull into the parking lot. And I stood up, and all of a sudden you could see Lucas pull around the corner and into the detail. Just drove what? Two and a half hours to pick yeah, this up for us? Sheesh, somebody get this man an award. Salesman even gives us some baby revs too. Brownie points. She heard you. 99 miles. How many of those were put on it getting here? About 70. Alrighty guys. So here is the new car. And also, can we just give a shout out to uh, that Canon RS and that guy for kicking it with me all freaking day so I didn't have to do this alone. This right here is about to be our cockpit for the next nine hours, so let's see if we can uh, stay awake. Alrighty, well we made it home. We put almost 800 miles on the car for the drive home. Jose, we made it. Made it, finally. We're going on almost two days of no sleep, so I think it's time for us to call it a day. So I think that effectively ends today's vlog. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.